It works! Hey guys, what's up? The Animals here. Today I'm going to replace my broken antenna. When I turn on my head unit, the antenna goes up. But when I turn off my head unit, it doesn't go down all the way. It's probably bent somewhere, so that's why it's not working properly. Now you could disassemble the whole antenna unit and replace the part that is damaged. But a new antenna mast alone can cost more than a complete second-hand antenna unit. So I've chosen the easy route and bought a second-hand antenna unit, which will be replacing the old one. Let's start with removing the old unit. The first step is removing this special nut with some needle nose pliers. There are two grooves in the nut which you can use to loosen the nut. Now the problem I'm facing here is normally you would put the needle nose pliers in the uh, holes or grooves and then you'll twist it to the left, lefty loosey. But my needle nose pliers are a bit big. So you can also use this thing, it's called a waterpomp tongue in, in Dutch. Not really sure what it, what's it called in English, but you can use this and put it on the nut and then twist it. But you probably will be damaging the nut. So what I did was get an old fork and this will perfectly fit into the grooves and then you can start twisting to the left. And as you can see, this will loosen the nut. After you remove the nut, you can remove this big bushing and this washer. Now normally this is all you need to do on this side to remove the antenna. But because the antenna mast sticks out, it's easier to remove the mast. This is actually pretty simple. Just turn on your head unit and hold the antenna. Be careful though, because the moment you turn on your head unit, the antenna will pop out. So, use some racks to protect your paint. Okay, so this is obviously not going to work. It should pop out, but well, it doesn't. So I'm going to try and turn off the radio and push it all the way down so I can remove it from the bottom. Maybe help it a little bit. There we go. So now the unit is short enough to remove it from the bottom. So the next step is opening the trunk. The antenna unit is behind the spare tire, so I'm going to remove that. It's pretty easy, just one big bolt, which you can remove by hand. Like that. The antenna unit is held in place by this bolt. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the bolt. After that you can disconnect the connector and the antenna lead. Now you can remove the old unit. Before I install the new antenna unit I want to show you guys a neat trick. Let's say you just want to remove the unit because weight savings and race car bro. Well, you still need to plug this hole. So, what you can do is get one of these and you can use that to cover the hole. And it's a perfect fit. Now we can install the new unit. 
I've already removed the top nut and bushing, so we can just slide it into place, like this. And then reconnect the antenna lead and the connector. Then use the bolt to secure it into place. Do not tighten it all the way. Just barely tighten it so the unit can still move. Get the nut, the rubber washer and the bushing and reinstall them. First install the rubber washer on the bushing. And make sure it's a tight fit so it seals properly. Like so. The rubber bushing has the same shape as the body panel, so make sure you install it correctly. Now you can screw the nut into place. Okay, now get the needle nose pliers or the modified fork and tighten the nut a bit more. Don't go crazy tight, just tighten it until it's snug. Now that the new antenna unit is in the right place, you can secure the nut. Quick tip, make sure that the drain plug is installed correctly, like so. The last step is to reinstall the spare tire. All right guys, that's it. So, now for the big moment. All the way up and all the way down it works and that's how you replace your antenna unit if you would like to disassemble the whole antenna unit so you can replace the damaged part check out the video of mike the miana king he has a very detailed video on that topic i will add the link to his video in the video description if you find this video helpful give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below the tools and parts you'll need for this job are in the video description as well as my social media links if you haven't subscribed already, click on the Mianamot logo below and don't forget to turn on notifications. For more Mianamot videos, click here. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.